What's up everybody, it's Roman Gaming here. So I've got a really interesting Uncharted related theory that I wanted to talk about in this video because it has been brought up to me by several people and as I said, I think it is quite some food for thought. I would like to know your thoughts on this as well. So this is about, you know, what happened to Sam, Nathan Drake's brother and the connection that we might be able to draw between what we know of Uncharted 4 right now and something that happened in Uncharted 2. So to quickly get, you know, this whole video started and to freshen up your mind, let's take a quick look back at the places and experience footage that we got of the cutscene of Sam all of a sudden appearing, Drake seeing him again, seeing him again for the first time, and pretty much the reaction to that and what exactly happened. So take a quick look. How? How? I thought you. I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they. Doctors, they patched me up and they tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I, I made calls, I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Nathan, we killed a god, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. So as you can see by that cutscene, of course, we already knew that Drake thought Sam had died. Uh, about 15 years ago, they went on a certain mission or something where Sam got shot and Drake saw that actually happen and afterwards never heard of him anymore, tried looking up a lot of, you know, information and, and wherever he could, he was trying to get information on if Sam was actually still alive. But because he didn't get any, he logically thought that he had actually died. And when we hear, you know, Sam talk about it now in this cutscene, he says that the doctor doctors had patched him up and tossed them, tossed them right back into the cell and they wanted him to rot in there forever um, because they had apparently killed one of the guards in there and uh, this is pretty much where it gets super interesting right so because they killed a guard in a certain place Sam got locked up for 15 years and then finally managed to get out somehow we don't know exactly how that happened but of course we'll find out in the game but this is where it all links back to a certain cutscene in Uncharted 2 what we're going to take a look at right now is one of the very first cutscenes in Uncharted 2 where we have Drake uh, pretty much you know seeing Flynn again in a long time it's where we get introduced to that character and Flynn talks about a certain job that he wants to do and it involves this heist mission in a uh, you know museum that is located in Istanbul so once again I'd like, to, like you to uh, take a quick look here and then we can get right back to it afterwards uh, because something very interesting is happening in that cutscene so take a look the client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, yeah. you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. So the reason why this is so interesting to me is of course Drake's reaction to Flynn talking to him about the certain mission that he wants to go on. Once Drake hears that he seems very concerned because something in the past had happened before with other people breaking into that same place and it did not end well for them. What he says is that out of the three people that went on that mission, two didn't make it out alive and one of them barely did. You know when we see that cutscene for the first time, when we play Uncharted 2, not knowing any of the context of Uncharted for we just don't have any clue what this is exactly describing you know who are these people we don't even you know know any oh at that point I think we all think that it's about three completely different people that Drake knows but drawing the connections now it could very well be that Drake here is talking about uh, he Sam and another certain guy who actually were the people invading or infiltrating into that museum Sam didn't make it out alive he thought another person apparently didn't either and then Drake is talking about himself being the guy that didn't make it out. Now at first when I thought about this I honestly thought it, it didn't really make sense and it wouldn't be something that we would actually find out in Uncharted 4 that this was related to what they're talking about here in Uncharted 2. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because really between all the Uncharted games you never really have those kinds of connections. It always seems like although the main characters always kind of like carry forward with their story it always seems like every single game they kind of hit a reset and everything is once again done from scratch stretch and uh, even in terms of like relationships between Drake and Elena it always starts at the beginning again in Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 it, b it basically starts exactly th in the same way and that's kind of the weird thing so you know we never saw those connections we, s we never saw returning characters apart from the main cast and 
Uh, that's why when people brought up this theory to me, you know, I was I was not super uh, sort of like convinced that this actually was a connection. But um, the reason now why I'm saying that this definitely is very interesting, I want you to take a quick look at the following scenes that tell you why this could actually be a thing. So have a look. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. It's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! There's an alarm. That's nuisance last time. So that is the final piece of evidence that we have here that actually makes this theory seem quite convincing. Um, Flynn talks about how Drake apparently is the only one who's cracked it in the past, meaning Drake might actually have been the guy involved in that museum heist. At the same time, we also have that second part where if you're going through the museum heist in the gameplay part of it, uh, Drake talks about a certain alarm that's new there since last time. So it really makes it seem like Drake was the guy who has been there before and that means he was there with the two other people that apparently died. Who are those two people? Well, if the theory is correct, of course one of them is Sam, and then the other one is some, some kind of character that we literally don't have any clue about. Could this, for example, be Rafe, who is going to play one of the you know, new villains in the game? Just judging by the character design of Rafe, I could totally see him actually having been a friend of Drake and you know Sam in the past or something like that, and that now, for some reason, he's going to be the villain in this game. Anyway, I thought it was super, super interesting, and of course, uh, a final thing actually to talk about is also that once Drake in Uncharted 2 uh, gets sort of like spotted and gets arrested by the police, he ends up in a jail himself. Now, they didn't kill any guards, they just knocked him out and used tranquilizer guns, but Sully was able to actually buy him free, you know, in, in Uncharted 2. We saw that with a huge amount of money apparently, uh, and Drake was able to get out of the jail. But, you know, as I said, because they killed a guard in the past, uh, that could be the reason why Sam, Sam Drake, I'm just going to call him that right now, now, even though, you know, we all know that Drake is not that last name, actually, but that's why Sam got locked up in that prison and uh, why he had to stay there for 15 years. So anyway, let me know what you think about this theory. I really think it could still be like a 50-50 situation, but if this actually is true, I think it is a very cool thing. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and for now, thanks a lot for watching, and hope to see you again next time.